Police have a new vehicle description in a deadly hit and run case that killed a 10 year old boy. Details from Pulaski County ahead. The Attorney General explains her impromptu meeting with former President Bill Clinton. I'm Craig Boswell at the White House with more on the meeting that could put an ongoing investigation into question. Downtown Cynthiana is receiving a makeover and the inspiration is coming from a hit TV show. More on the mural coming up. This is WKYT News at 430. Good afternoon, Sam Dick and Amber Philpott reporting. It's been a week and a half and police are still searching for a hit and run driver in southern Kentucky. Someone hit a 10 year old child in Pulaski County last week and didn't stop. Stanley Turner died. WKYT's Phil Pendleton talked to police who have a new description of a person of interest they're looking for. It's our top story at 430. Rock Lick Creek Road here in Pulaski County near Science Hill, a very sparsely populated area. You're not going to find a lot of homes on this road and even fewer cars, but police say it's one car in particular that may hold the answers to a mystery that they want to solve. Police say interviews with people in the area tell them that a woman driving a medium to dark color blue hatchback style car with Ohio plates needs to be found. 10-year-old Stanley Turner was killed about 7:30 Monday, June 20th, when he got separated from his brother. The two had been on a tractor when the younger Turner went back for something and didn't return. Police say the 10-year-old was struck by a car that didn't stop. At first, police were looking for a red car, but the Major Crimes Task Force investigating the death has since ruled that out. We just know that this this automobile was seen in the area by several individuals, and she may have information that might be helpful to the major cr crimes task force in solving this crime. Police say at this point the person they are looking for is only a person of interest and not a suspect. Now coming up at 5:30 I will show you just how little traffic this road gets in Pulaski County. Phil Pendleton, WKYT. The coroner says Stanley Turner died from blunt force trauma. The full autopsy results will not be known for several more weeks. A Lexington gas station robbed earlier this week was targeted again overnight. Police tell us a man likely in his 40s robbed the speedway on Winchester Road near 7th Street. Police say the suspect held the clerk at gunpoint before stealing cash. The same speedway was also robbed during a string of robberies Tuesday. Police have since stepped up patrols around many of the gas stations in town, but the suspect in this latest robbery is still on the run. You may have noticed more people on the streets these days in Lexington begging for money. Usually they have a sign that says they're homeless or hungry, but are they? In a story we're working on for tonight at 6, there is a law against begging for money on the streets of Lexington. But we learned that many of the panhandlers are not breaking the law. And that does not mean city leaders want you to give them money. They say that many of these people are not using your money for food or place to stay. It can be a tough situation when you see someone who appears to really need help. We have a number of these individuals are facing addiction, whether that's alcohol or heroin or some other substance. Um, and there's a very high likelihood that the funds you give are going to be used to fuel their addiction. Um, now, I realize the dilemma that presents for some people. It's very difficult to look another human being in the eye when they're holding a sign that says, Hungry, please help. Ah, that's a, that's a kind of tough one. <laughs> Yeah, it is. It, it's tempting, but I just kind of really kind of evaluate the situation. I, I got to look at them and kind of, I don't know, does this guy really need money or does he want to buy drugs? In fact, the city's Office of Homelessness Prevention and Intervention is pleading with people to not give any money to someone begging, no matter how desperate they look or act. So what should you do? We'll have more on that at 6 o'clock tonight. This is going to be very eye opening for folks. When you originally brought the story sure. idea up, you thought it was going to be about professional panhandlers, and it completely changed. Right. I, I mean, I thought we'd do a story on the panhandlers because they do exist who go up and down the interstate, Amber, mm -hmm. and they'll stop at a place like Hamburg. They'll make a whole lot of money. They're not homeless. They're, they're not hungry, and that's how they make their living. Instead, where the story led me was downtown to people who are panhandlers, and many of them, the city says, are drug addicts, alcoholics, and that's where the money is going. And I have to tell you, as a private citizen, there's been many times I've pulled up to an intersection in many years and said, do I give them money or do, or do I not?
not. After I did this story, I've got a whole different view of it, and we'll see how people react to that. Yeah, we'll see if anybody else's perspective yeah. changes as well. We'll see that coming up tonight at 6. Speaking of changes, mm -hmm. the weather seems to be always changing. It's Kentucky, of course. Sort of a fall-like feel here in the bluegrass with temperatures in the 80s under some sunny skies. But we do have some big changes to talk about heading this way for our 4th of July holiday weekend. We check in now with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Yeah, those changes will include some thunderstorms. We will worry about that as we get a little closer right now, as you guys mentioned. It is absolutely fantastic yet again. 81 Lexington, humidity is still bone dry, 33%. So basically, there's no humidity in the air for you to worry about. If you're going to be outside this evening, sweat factor is way, way down there, especially as you throw in a little wind that is gusting up 10, 15 miles per hour at times. 80, 81 degrees, as good as we could get it this afternoon into much of central and eastern Kentucky. Defender Radar Network, nothing up close and personal. Let's broaden out the view. Notice some clouds, though, that are streaming into parts of central Kentucky. Those clouds will not produce precipitation this evening. Though some thunderstorms breaking out ahead of a cold front. That front arrives on the scene as we go into the day tomorrow. But out ahead of that, it is awfully, awfully nice. Upper 70s at 7 o'clock. Fair skies through sundown, low 70s. Mid 60s with comfortable temperatures that will carry us through 11 o'clock this evening. When I come back in a little more than five minutes, we will focus on that all important 4th of July weekend, guys, and the rounds of thunderstorms that will take aim at the area, showing an interesting comparison on computer models on where they think the heaviest rains will fall this weekend. We'll see you then, Chris. Thank you. A conversation between former President Bill Clinton and Attorney General Loretta Lynch has caused a ripple effect across Washington and on the campaign trail. Now, many people view the meeting as a conflict of interest since the Attorney General has the final say on whether charges will be filed against Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server while she was Secretary of State. Craig Boswell is at the White House with that story. Attorney General Loretta Lynch is having to explain a meeting she had with former President Bill Clinton. I did see the president uh, at the Phoenix airport the other night as I was landing. He was headed out. Lynch says Clinton initiated the unplanned conversation and it was all small talk. He did come over and say hello and speak to my husband and myself and um, talk about his grandchildren and his travels and, and things like that. So that was the extent of that. The encounter comes as Hillary Clinton is the subject of an ongoing FBI investigation into her use of a private email server during her time as Secretary of State. Loretta Lynch will have the final say over any charges once the investigation is complete. Lynch says there was no discussion of the federal probe. Loretta Lynch is one of the most outstanding human beings I've ever known. Her ethics is abo above reproach. Republicans who have called for a special prosecutor to lead the investigation into Mrs. Clinton's emails say the meeting has an appearance of a conflict of interest. Clinton's GOP presidential opponent called the conversation out of bounds. Even in terms of judgment, how bad a judgment is it for him or for her to do this? I mean, who would, who would do this? The FBI is in the final stages of its investigation, and Lynch says career agents are handling it and insists it will be fair. Craig Boswell, CBS News, the White House. The Clinton campaign's only response to the meeting is to say they agree with Lynch's version of the events. An international street artist is painting a massive mural in downtown Cynthiana. It will feature four characters from the hit TV show The Walking Dead. In the original comic book series, Cynthiana, Kentucky was the hometown of The Walking Dead's main character, Deputy Rick Grimes. Instead of unleashing zombies on the wall behind the downtown Ross Opera House on East Pike Street, the artist is bringing his favorite characters from the show to life. I was kind of a little bit thinking about, like, okay, it's a uh, small town uh, painting something related with a horror movie so that that's why i decided not to put like any zombies on the on the wall well get this it will take a week and 150 spray cans to finish that mural we'll have more on the progress ahead on wkyt news at 5:30 somehow i thought it would be a lot more paint than that i guess yeah but. well some project that's something else a controversial Lexington nightclub is being turned into a new restaurant. Tom Bear bought the former Art Bar building on Euclid Avenue last year. He and his sons already own the Beer Trap next door, Pazos, and Village Idiot. His newest restaurant will be called Bear and the Butcher. He told the Herald Leader they plan to butcher meat on site. Last year, he said he had plans for a rooftop patio as well. Bear and the Butcher is set to open this fall. 
Dollywood's new lightning rod roller coaster could soon be reopened. Right now, it's going through some technical ride rehearsals after some parts were recalled, forcing it to close just a week after it opened. Lightning Rod is a $22 million investment for the theme park, said to be the world's fastest wooden coaster. Bad news for country music fans. Trace Adkins' concert next month in eastern Kentucky has been canceled. Officials with the East Kentucky Expo Center in Pikeville say the promoter of Adkins' concert pulled the plug on the July 15th show because ticket sales were slow. Refunds are available for fans who bought tickets. The Academy of Motion Pictures wants to reaffirm its commitment to diversity. In the wake of that Oscars go so white controversy, we'll explain. Tell me another way people say mother. Mommy. Sheila. Mommy. Oh, mommy. You want mommy. Y'all crazy. Family Feud. One full hour starting at 7 on the CW Lexington. It's another Kentucky Ale Thirsty Thursday and Pepsi Bark in the Park at the Legends game. Bring your dog to the game and enjoy dollar drinks all night long. Check out LexingtonLegends.com for all the tickets, promos, and snatchtastic fun you can have at a Legends game. I see the uncertainty in people's eyes, but that only fuels me more. For me, it's more than a job, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to give you a healthy mouth. You know, we've got a lot in common. Thanks, Danica. Ready. Aspen Dental wants you to make a pit stop for our grand opening with free exams and x-rays for patients without insurance. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL because your mouth is our mission. I roll my eyes like a lizard. A monkey would envy my tail. My wings want to fly but swim instead. I'm a fish with a horse's head. You can see me in all my glory. Touch me and learn my story. In a world of wonder, you'll explore. I'm a seahorse and so much more. Discover the zany world of seahorses at the most interactive seahorse exhibit in the country. Visit the brand new Seahorses Unbridled Fun and see, touch, explore together at Newport Aquarium. I'm a seahorse and so much more. It's summertime. Let's eat outside and enjoy Lexington's best patio dining. Be part of the Lexington Patio Club and share your outdoor eats and your meal could be on us. Just check in at any of the local Lexington Patio Club restaurants with the hashtag Lexington Patio Club. And when you hit your fifth patio, you will be entered into the monthly drawing to win a gift card worth up to $50. Great weather, good times, free food. Things are always better on the patio. Don't miss the Lexington Theatre Company's production of Disney and Cameron McIntosh's Mary Poppins, July 14th through 17th at the Opera House. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Now, your hour-by-hour hour forecast with Chief Meteorologist Chris Bailey. Beautiful weather throughout the Bluegrass State. Folks out and about today, a little extra pep in their step because of the gorgeous weather and the fact that many of you have a big holiday weekend ahead of you that will stretch into Monday because it is the 4th. 80, 81, 79, those are popular numbers showing up across most of Central and Eastern Kentucky. Right now, Lexington, it is 81, and it feels 81 because there's zero humidity to make it feel warmer than that. Winds are coming at us from the west at around 8 miles an hour. 7 o'clock this evening down to 7. 78, 67 by 11 into tomorrow, we have the risk for a shower or a thunderstorm. Temperatures that should still be into the low 80s. Tomorrow's thunderstorm risk, courtesy of a front that is off to our northwest. Out ahead of that, getting in a little high cloud cover this evening, and you'll notice some of those high clouds showing up on that western horizon right around sunset this evening. Front has another push of cooler and drier air that tries to get in here for Saturday. So I'm looking at that holiday weekend forecast, and if I'm going to try to plan something outdoors, Saturday right now is my day. Sunday and especially into Monday, the potential is there for some showers and thunderstorms. Let's break down the next three days. That'll take you into that holiday weekend, excluding the fourth itself. Isolated storms around tomorrow. Many of you may not see much rain with a cold front that moves in. Now, that front may settle to our south on Saturday with comfy air that continues. Slight chance for a late day shower or thunderstorm. Southern Kentucky will have a better chance, but a lot of the area on Saturday may stay dry. Sunday, the deeper we get into the day, 
the greater the threat for some thunderstorms to go up. And by late afternoon into the evening, some of those storms may be getting a little frisky, courtesy of a stalled out front across the Ohio Valley. So we're looking at a corridor that I have painted in the yellow here that has the greatest risk for heavy rain as we go into the weekend. Mild air to the north, hot air to the south, and the highest threat for rounds of thunderstorms right on top of our part of the world this week and early next week. I mentioned I look, at, I look at a lot of computer models, but we've got two to show you here. One is the American model, and it has flipped and it has flopped like a fish out of water over the past few days on where it wanted to put that heavy corridor of rain. Latest run says Southern Kentucky. I do not buy that. I like the model that is from overseas, the European model. Look at this for rainfall totals. Much more widespread with the focus on the northern half of the state over the next week. You're talking about two, three, four, and maybe a few five-inch amounts. Now, that, those are two models that both have four-plus inches somewhere across our region. They just differ on where to put it. I like the European model versus the American model right now. We go into the day tomorrow at 83 degrees. That 4th of July forecast 79 with a threat for showers and thunderstorms that will be likely. Then we see some on and off storms into the middle of next week as well. Still liking it, you know, after yesterday, yeah, and the yeah. day before. Yesterday, and... today, mm -hmm. even into Saturday, we're okay. Hey, that's good news. Better news. After that. We are trying to be optimistic. Yeah. After that, Get I'm sorry. Get on board with us All here, right. buddy. Yeah. Come on now. Complain. Well, you're trying to twist my arm and just <laughs> hang out. It's not going to rain the fourth. It's not going to rain the fourth. Chris, thank All you. All right, guys. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about on Lake Cumberland today, preparing for 4th of July weekend at Conley Bottom Resort. We'll have more when we return here on WKYT. Mike's Big Brother is listening. Cameras Big Brother is watching. Action. It's not summer without Big Brother. This summer, Big Brother is your all-inclusive. I'm in this house with 15 new people. Holy moly. Fun filled. I love it. I need it. I gotta have it. Vacation destination. We're about to be rocking this house like a hurricane. Julie Chen hosts. You're in for one crazy trip. Aloha. Don't miss an all-new Big Brother. Live CBS Tonight. Hi, Shane Hoffman with Neil Hoffman Honda in Frankfurt, where this month you can get a brand new 2016 Honda Accord and 2016 Honda Civic for just $400 a month. That's $400 a month total. That's all going on now. Neil Hoffman Honda in Frankfurt. Hoffman has it. It's a little something I've done every night since I was a kid. Empty my pocket change into this old jar. It's never much. Just what's left after I break a dollar. And I never thought... I could get quality life insurance with my spare change. Neither did I, until I saw a commercial for the Colonial Pen Program. Imagine people our age getting life insurance at such an affordable rate. It's true. If you're 50 to 85, you can get guaranteed acceptance life insurance through the Colonial Pen Program for less than 35 cents a day, just $9.95 a month. There's no medical exam and no health questions. You know, the average cost of a funeral is over $8,300. Now, that's a big burden to leave your loved ones. Add to that credit card balances and final medical bills, and you've got plenty of reasons to call for free information about this valuable coverage. It's easy and affordable to help cover your final expenses through the Colonial Pen Program. As long as you're 50 to 85, you cannot be turned down because of your health. Your premium never goes up and your benefit never goes down due to age. Plus, your coverage builds cash value over time, money you can borrow against. So don't wait. Call now for free information and a free gift. All I did was make a phone call, and all of my questions about the Colonial Pen Program were answered. It couldn't have been any easier, and we both got the coverage we should have had for years now. Mm-hmm, with change to spare. <laughs> <laughs> Call 1-800-850-8710 for free information about this valuable life insurance. That's 1-800-850-8710. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-850-8710. The call is free, and so is this handy beneficiary planner. Call or click now. Hi, Shane Hoffman with Neil Hoffman Honda in Frankfurt, where this month you can get a brand new 2016 Honda Accord and 2016 Honda Civic for just $400 a month. That's $400 a month total. That's all going on now. Neil Hoffman Honda in Frankfurt. Hoffman has it. 
stay connected to the news that matters to you. Follow WKYT on Twitter. Well, the 4th of July weekend is traditionally a huge weekend at Lake Cumberland. And that is where we can find our Deanne Steven. She's at the lake. Hi, Deanne. Hey, good afternoon, guys, from Lake Cumberland, where you just happened to catch me at my favorite place in the entire world on the lake. We have Caleb Rose, who is with us, preparing for a big Fourth of July weekend. This guy's like me. He's like, Deanne, I was born and raised here. I mean, oh, yes. and you just can't get away from it, can you? Oh, no, ma'am. I love it here. Talk about the lake and how you said you came here as a kid, the favorite memories that you've made here at Lake Cumberland. Oh, yes. Uh, ever since I was a little kid, I came out here to the lake, came here to Conley Bottom Marina. It was just, uh, it was awesome. I just can't tell you enough about how, how much fun I've ha had out here on the lake, tubing, skiing, just everything about it. Well, you said you love doing the, the water sports, of course, a lot of folks do, but a lot of folks think that you have to have a boat to enjoy the lake. You don't necessarily have oh. to, right? Oh, no, not at all. Here at uh, Conley Bottom, we've got camping, we've got a real nice restaurant, just there's a little bit of everything, a little bit of everything for everyone here out on the lake. They feed you, they let you sleep here and everything, don't you? Sleep on the water, a lot of folks do because they spend time on those houseboats that they have for rental. And then this deck boat, this is beautiful, Fred Piercy. Thank you. Thank these you. are brand new for you guys? Brand new this, this year. Yes. So folks can rent these. You don't have to have a boat. we got to stress that because so many people are like, I don't have a boat. I can't go to the lake this weekend. I'm like, oh, you're crazy. You yes. can get on the water. Oh, you can get on the water. Yeah, deck boat, they come with uh, skis and rope, and we have tubes to rent, and uh, kids' skis, we have everything for these. Talk about Fourth of July weekend and what that means to Conley Bottom. It is uh, very important that all the holiday weekends are for uh, for this type of business because since we're a seasonal business, it's 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 life and death for us almost. But we love to have everybody down. How many people are you expecting this weekend? Maybe. Goodness, I don't know. Well, because yeah. it's nice that the yeah. fourth actually falls on a Monday, so everybody can kind of extend the weekend, right? That's correct. Sure, it's going to be a long weekend for everybody, and that'll be great because we have they can stay in cabins, houseboats, camping. Everything here. And just come be a part of the 4th of July fun that is happening here. You guys have activities planned, as well as we mentioned the restaurant, they'll feed you fireworks around here somewhere. You can always see fireworks. You can always see fireworks here, right. yes. <laughs> here on the 4th of July. I'm Deanne Stevens out and about, hoping you guys have a very safe and happy 4th of July weekend. From Lake Cumberland, back to you guys. Not a bad gig today, huh, to be uh, out on the lake, I want right? to go. Let's go. <laughs> the Motion Picture Academy embraces diversity, and Prince fans have a chance to own a piece of the pop icon's memorabilia. Danielle Nottingham has your eye on entertainment. The Academy of Motion Pictures invited 683 new members, the largest, most diverse class in its history. The Oscars came under fire this year because there were no African Americans nominated for acting awards. People of color make up 41% of this year's class, including Michael B. Jordan and Idris Elba. A motorcycle jacket and white signature shirt worn by Prince in the 1984 film Purple Rain are up for sale. They are part of the Profiles in History auction that runs through tomorrow in California. Prince died at his Minnesota home in April. Blink-182 is releasing its seventh album titled California. The rock band did a photo shoot at the Empire State Building. They say fans will not be disappointed. It's Blink-182.0, if that's not too cheesy to say. It's just Blink-182 in 2016 with me. California is on sale tomorrow. And the stars of Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates walked the red carpet in Los Angeles last night. It is so on this weekend. Zach Efron and Adam Devine play brothers looking for the perfect wedding dates, but their online ad goes viral and they get more than they bargained for. It's just a fun ride. I think people are going to want to watch it more than once. The film hits theaters next Friday. That's your eye on entertainment. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News, Los Angeles. A Washington dad has gone viral for teaching his daughter a lesson about selfies with some embarrassing selfies of his own. Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's red, white, and blue sale with 4th of July savings on recliners, sofas, sectionals, and more. Save on great American comfort and value. Hurry, these savings won't last long. Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's live life comfortably. Clients come into the office. The government has said, no, I don't believe you. You're not disabled. 
The major problem with Social Security Disability is that most people who sign up are denied at the initial level. If your claim's denied, don't give up. Call us immediately. We'll appeal your case. We can do an effective job of representing you that will get you the benefits that you deserve. Call Morgan, Collins, and Yeast. 1-800-55-WILDCAT. This is how precision listens. Bose microphones that hear engine noise, then counter it with the sound-canceling frequency, which helps make the cabin so quiet, you don't miss a thing. Night, Dad. Good night, kiddo. It's called active noise cancellation, and it's available in the new, meticulously crafted 2016 Sierra from GMC. This is the precision of professional grade. Now get nearly $9,000 below MSRP on select 2016 Sierra 1500 models in stock. Visit your Bluegrass GMC dealer today. Hurry in for the final days of the Suffs Furniture and Oriental Rugs Estate Sale. To settle the estate of Albert Sandy Suffoletta, we must sell our entire inventory at both stores. Suffs will be closed this Sunday and will open at 945 July 4th for 7 hours and 15 minutes only. Hurry in for 50 to 70% off Lazy Boy recliners, sofas, ceiling mattresses, and dining rooms. Our Georgetown store is closing, but we will continue to serve you from our Nicholasville location. Hurry in for the last days of the Suffs Furniture Estate Liquidation Sale. Jello, America! You know what sounds better than me? Prime rib for $13.99! Premium weekends at Golden Corral are making an encore performance. Slice into endless prime rib, carved teriyaki sirloin, premium jumbo butterfly shrimp, and glazed salmon. Dinner's just $13.99. All right, don't fiddle around. Let's see. Premium weekends only at Golden Corral. Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's Red, White, and Blue Sale with 4th of July savings on recliners, sofas, sectionals, and more. Save on great American comfort and value. Hurry, these savings won't last long. Lazy Boy Furniture Gallery's Live Life Comfortably. We just saw Deanne there at the lake. What a yeah. great couple of days to be on the lake this oh, last couple of months. Yeah, and this weekend, it's going to be huge. She, you know, she mentioned Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday. So, Chris, no pressure. <laughs> None whatsoever. None at all? No. I'm good then. You know what? I mean, I know. Look, we're rolling into an action packed holiday weekend, so we've got to try to deliver at least some good weather. We will give you some, but I can't promise the entire weekend. Live look outside right now. Temperatures are low 80s, low humidity, some high clouds beginning to creep on in from the west. That's what we're going to be dealing with uh, over the next several hours. So, at least in a part of the evening, we will cloud it up a little bit into central Kentucky. Shouldn't be anything in terms of precipitation. Low 80s into most areas, 79, the cool spot up in northern Kentucky around the Covington Cincinnati area. Any shower or thunderstorm chances will hold off until we go into the day tomorrow. Here's a look at live drive traffic. And as we look across Lexington, uh, your typical Thursday afternoon, rush hour, hot spots where it's stop and go. Then we get over toward the Hamburg Pavilion area, and especially on Man of War here between Maple Leaf and Todd's Road, we have an accident that is causing some backups, and especially right there on Man of War, back toward Richmond Road, toward Maple Leaf and Todd's Road area. So keep that in mind if you're traveling. Chris, thank you. An extra scary roller coaster ride and an embarrassing lesson. It's the video that will have you talking. Take a look at this. A roller coaster malfunctioned. Those are some words you don't want to hear very often. That happened yesterday, leaving eight riders stranded 100 feet off the ground. Now, most of the riders were children. Uh, take a look. The Silver Bullet Coaster at Frontier City Park in Oklahoma City stalled at the top of the ride. And because of the position of the ride, park workers were able to free the guests in the back half first. Emergency crews were called in to help the other riders. It took just over an hour to safely remove all of the passengers. No injuries are reported. That's a ride they won't forget. Mm -hmm. Well, in the battle to keep their children's social media posts clean, some parents are willing to fight fire with fire. And by fire, we mean pouty lip faces. This Washington dad has gone viral after he says his daughter refused to tone down her Instagram oh selfies, which he deemed a little too risque. So he recreated his daughter's tattoos, broke out the pouty lips to send her an embarrassing message. He says she got the point. I Bet she did. Way to go, Dad. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that's a good dad right mm -hmm. there, taking a tour. All right. Much more to come now. Stick around for 5 o'clock on WKYT.